Let me talk to you. Eli Drake is bound for gold. And guess what? There's so Don't talk back, dummies. I talk. And guess what? I said don't talk back, dummies. Yeah. I got a guest tonight who, while I'm bound for gold, this guy had a rocket shoved so far up his keister, I can't believe that he's not spitting out rocket fuel. Meanwhile, all he did is he lost his opportunity, and I'm not sure quite where he's headed. So let's go ahead and bring him out. You know him as the choke artist, Ethan Carter III. When Eli Drake walked down that ramp, I heard a roar I've never heard. And you know what that is? That's the undeniable Kavorka of Eli Drake. Something that my guest tonight has been trying to get for so long. He wants to be like Eli Drake. He's been trying, but he can't. Matter of fact, I've been looking at him, and he's got the shot to be the heavyweight champion, and he didn't quite make it, did you? Well, you last dummy, yeah. Well, Eli, the fact is, dummy, yeah, you blew it. Dummy, yeah, you choked. Dummy, yeah, I think you lost it. Don't. At Bound for Glory, I lost. For one year, I trained with passion desire to be the heavyweight champion and I lost and I'm not gonna sit here and make an excuse that passion that passion died it's been replaced with anger angst vengeance the ability to scorch this earth to get what I want and ask the world heavyweight champion. So you're going to sit here on this dumbass show with your dirt beard and your bug eyes talking smack you're bound for gold man you you should not be worried about pressing this button. You should be worried about the most important thing in this industry, and that's becoming the world heavyweight champion. And I'll tell you what, Eli, you press this button again, so help me God, I will eviscerate you. I will end you. I will rip you apart piece by piece, tear your limbs off, beat you to death with it, set your corpse on fire, and piss on your ashes. You understand me, Eli? In fact, in fact, Eli Drake, I am begging you. I am pleading with you. Press that button again so I can do it. Press the button, Eli. I am down on my knees like your mother, begging, begging. Press the button, Eli. Press that button so I can kick your ass. You know what my problem is with you? When I walked into this place, I was brought in as the third member of Three Idiots, The Rising, behind a mushmouth Drew Galloway and some guy named Micah. Well, guess what? He's not here anymore. And me, I'm standing in this position. I'm standing here bound for gold. But was I meant to be? No. Meanwhile, I log on to social media and I hear Eli Drake is not in EC3's league. But I'll tell you this right now. 
You've done a hell of a lot of stuff with what you've been given, but that's the key. It's what you've been given. Because you walked in here from day one, they put you on the elevator straight to the damn top. And Eli Drake has had to scrape and scratch and claw, and I've had to cheat, I've had to take opportunities, I've done what it needed to be to get to the top, to get to where I'm, and I'm still not there. Bottom line is, you're still top of the food chain here, and I'm way below you. I ain't blind to that. But I got to tell you this, if you think for a second that the amount that you've scratched and clawed is equal to mine, pal, you're not even in my league. And that's not an insult. That is just a fact of life. Now cut his mic. This show's over.